I don't think the Bork engine is good for any topology above a thousand cc's. I think the Bork engine is great for topologies between 49 and a thousand cc's. It's the best engine in the world for that range of displacement. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go above one liter of displacement or about 60 cubic inches, if you're old school like me, then you want to. We have a new topology that we're researching on that, but I, I can't disclose mm -hmm. any, any more than that. Just rest assured, we have a topology that, in a form factor that's a little bit bigger than that Bork engine that I demonstrated at that conference. So that Bork engine I demonstrated is 30 cubic inches, half a liter, okay? We have a topology that's marginally larger than that one, but is 6.7 liters. Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> so that's gonna be more than enough to power a car. And- um, Oh yeah, we're talking guess... 10 megawatts. <laughs> yeah. And you could power your house off of that too. Dude, you can power the whole block. <laughs> I'll put it this oh, way. Man. Running at high RPM, which is maybe 15, 20,000 RPMs, we should be able to produce 10 megawatts of power with that design in a package that's one foot in diameter and two feet long. To give you some perspective, wow. to give you some perspective, gigawatt, which is a thousand megawatts, is what a lot of nuclear power plants produce. Right. Right. So you put 10 of these together, you have one oh. tenth of a nuclear power plant. You put 100 of these in a parking lot, you have a nuclear power plant's worth of energy. Wow. 1.21 gigawatts. Yeah. I mean, if you yourself have 10 megawatts of power, the things you can do with 10 megawatts is unfathomable. Farmers can make their own nitric acid in mass in industrial quantities in their barn using a Birkeland Hyde reactor. Doctors can make their own medical isotopes using cyclotrons. Uh, uh, welders and machinists can smelt, cast, and recycle their own metals inexpensively using arc and induction furnaces. There's so many things that can, that can be done with such a high degree of power available on tap. We can't even really imagine the things people can do. One of the things that could be done with this much power on tap, you can create super deep borehole drilling operations using a plasma wave front. So you can just glass mm -hmm. material ahead of your tractor and dr plasma drill super deep boreholes at super high temperatures. 